good YouTube, it's your boy JJ back again with another video and today we are going to look at four things you should never do after a haircut. Now I just got my haircut recently, you know what I'm saying, I think I got it cut on Monday, um, now it's Saturday so whatever he's about to say I probably hadn't already done but we finna see if I uh, we finna see if I did anything wrong that I wasn't supposed to do after my haircut and you know I'm helping y'all boys out so you know what I'm saying, Let, let's get into the video. What's up everybody, 360 Juice here, back with another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be talking to you about four things you should never do after a haircut. And by the way, if you haven't liked the video already, please do so right now. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button for your boy. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So a lot of you think that you should wash your hair after your haircut. If you don't wash your hair after a haircut, you're dirty. No, that's not the case. I'm not dirty, because I definitely don't wash my hair after a haircut. And that leads to my first thing you should never do after a haircut. Look at this. First things first, right? You're All right, so, I, I, bro, it's just like, bruh, there's no way that this nigga don't see this shit, bruh. There's just no way. Your hair texture, if you're straight hair, you can wash your hair every day if you want to. But I'm a coarse hair. I don't know about you. You might be a coarse hair or even a medium texture hair, right? We're not supposed to be washing our hair every single day. It strips our natural oils out of our hair and stuff like that. So we stay away from shampoo as much as possible. That's why I wash my hair only twice a week. When it comes to washing your hair after a haircut, that's a big no-no. First things first, you should wash your hair before the haircut. 24 hours, five hours before the haircut. Even 30 minutes before the haircut, you should wash your hair. So it doesn't Whoa, 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 whoa. 30 minutes? Oh, my boy, hold on. Hey, I, I don't know where this nigga live at. Hey, but the barbers where I'm at, shit, them niggas ain't cutting, bro. Niggas ain't cutting my shit if I just washed my hair 30 minutes ago. I will cut it. Shit, them clippers gonna slip. Nigga, next thing you know, I'm, I only got one of my damn eyebrows type shit. Shit. <laughs> Can't even take that risk, my boy. Can't even take that risk. I'm washing my shit. I wash my shit 24 hours though. Shit, five hours is pushing it. But I'll do 24 though, or maybe like even like the night before, maybe on like some 12 hour type shit. Like do it the night before, or sleep, and then wake up and then go to the barbershop. Yeah, I'll do that shit. I'll do that shit. It doesn't make any sense to wash your hair before the haircut and then come back home and wash your hair again. You're just killing your scalp. You're killing your natural oils. You're killing your hair. You're not doing it any good. Your hair's not dirty. It's not. You can take a shower. Of course, you definitely need to take a shower um, if you have leftover hair over your clothes. But I bet you your barber will probably put that cape over you so you won't have any hair over your, your clothes. So it's just like, what's the point of washing your hair? All right, don't wash your hair after your haircut. All right, that leads to my second thing you shouldn't do after a haircut. Number two, do not brush your hair with a hard brush. Do not brush your hair with a medium brush. The, the only brush you should be using is a soft brush and the reason for that is because of the fibers. When you get that black out on your, on your hairline, when you brush with a, me, uh, with a medium or hard brush, that's gonna take it out. It's gonna like remove it, okay? So stay away from those brushes and if you do brush with those, don't go all the way to the hairline. I actually did a live yesterday showing you how to brush your hair after your haircut. I don't brush all the way up to the fiber. Brush and stop like at the middle of your head. Don't go all the way up to your hairline, all right? That's gonna mess up the fiber, that's gonna take it all out. And a hard brush will do even worse, all right? So don't do that, don't do it. Now leading on to my third thing you shouldn't do after your haircut is comb out your hair. Why would you comb out your hair? Because if you comb your hair out, then you have to lay it back down. Especially if you're wolfing, you shouldn't be combing your hair out. And if you comb it out, the fiber is still gonna, you know, go to waste. Now when you lift your hair up with the comb, you're gonna have to lay it back down. And in order to lay it back down, you're gonna have to go with a, with a hard brush, a medium brush, you're gonna have to put in products, you're gonna have to go with a plastic bag, you're gonna have to double compress. It's a whole lot of things to do to lay your hair down. And all of that is gonna get rid of the fiber. Even when you comb your hair, it's still gonna get rid of the fiber. Just basically all of this stuff is, is because of the blackout. You get the blackout to, to make it look sharp, before you go where you're going. Now, if you're not going anywhere, if you're just going home, going to sleep, you know, okay, you wash your hair, you brush your hair, do whatever you want. But if you go, what the fuck? 
Also, this nigga get a haircut right before he about to head out type shit. Oh. Y'all get haircuts for, right before y'all step out? Or, like, y'all go... Like, say y'all finna go to a party type shit, right? Um, y'all go to a party. Like, you're like, alright, bet. Party start at 10 or 11. It's like 5 type shit, right? So then you wash your hair and shit at like 6. Because you woke up at 5. Took a little nap and shit. Then you wash your hair at 6. And then at, what is it? Shit. Fuck. Wash your hair at 6. And then maybe like go to the barbershop. Shit, barbershop ain't gonna be open at that time, is it? Mm. I think I went to a barbershop that was like, closed at like 8. So let's say at 8 and then you go at 7, right? Boom, he just washed his hair at 6. He go to walk barbershop at 7. Then he finna, I guess he finna go grab something to eat. Cause shit, that damn, like, that food be kind of expensive. Especially if you're going to a club or some shit. Going out, if it's a special occasion, don't do none of these stuff. Our last thing to never do after a haircut, not to touch your, your head, your, the part that's already cut, don't touch that with a dirty hand because that's gonna cause infections. I don't know if you noticed, but when you cut your hair, when you do your hairline and it's sharp, you should definitely ask your barber to spray some alcohol. And when you do spray alcohol, it burns for a reason. You know why? It's because it's an open cut, all right? When, you, when your barber goes over your hairline, it's actually cutting through your skin. So now it's, it's an open cut, you have to wait for that to heal. And if after a haircut, you go home and you don't wash your hands and your hand is dirty and you're just touching it like you're scratching and doing all this, bro, no, that's, that's gonna mess you up real good. All right, it's gonna cause infection. You have these little bumps in the back of your neck, little bumps, don't, don't touch it. I know it's gonna be itching, don't touch it. If you wanna touch it, wash your hands, all right? Put some soap, some water, hand sanitizer, then you know you touch it. Don't scratch it either, because if you scratch it, that's when the, it's gonna get worse. You're gonna get these little bumps and stuff, and you don't want them. They're called razor bumps, all right? A lot of people get them when they, when they shave their beard, and you can also get them um, behind your neck or on your hairline, because all of these are open cuts, and your, your skin gets irritated very easily. So, number four. Actually, it's facts. Um, the razor bump thing, though, yeah, whenever I shave my uh, beard and shit, I be getting, uh, we getting razor bumps. Not because I touch my face. Well, especially now with, like, mask and shit, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. My shit be fucked up, bro. Last thing, do not touch your hair, your hairline, whatever, whichever area got cut. Do not touch it with your dirty hands before you do wash them. All right, guys, that concludes the video. That was four things to never do after a haircut. If you guys... Why did he just do that? Well... What the fuck? That nigga said four things. Hold on. Who's the video? That was four things to never do after a oh. haircut. If you guys agree with me, please drop in the comments. If you don't, then drop your opinions as well. My comments is open to everyone. All your negative comments, all your positive comments, which I really love, okay? Keep the positivity coming. And all the negative people. I don't want to mess with y'all. Shit, yeah, man. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for your boy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. But yeah, um, that was a good video though, my boy. That was a good, that was a good video. It's a W, it's a W. Uh, I'll subscribe for you too, my boy. Shut up, man. Shut up, you turn the notifications on, my boy. All right, Juice. I fuck with you, boy. That was a good vid. But nah, though, uh, shit, if y'all like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And without any further ado, I'm out. Peace.